What is up guys, back in today of another Reaction 2 Windbreaker, this time with episode 11 I believe. I think we've still got one episode left next week, uh, two episodes left actually. Uh, no idea what we'll be covering in these kind of final episodes, but I uh, really enjoyed the last arc. I think especially again, Togami versus Sakura was my favourite part. Um, last week's episode was okay and the week before was okay as well. I, I kind of hyped up a bit more than, uh, than I should have perhaps. It wasn't anything spectacular story-wise in my opinion, but I like the concept of the kind of fight. Uh, dialogue stuff. I think that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, do let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions. And I bet these guys feel rough now. <laughs> After the fights. Well, a few of them probably feel rough. And uh, we'll be skipping the opening just um, because copyright reasons when we get to that. I'm not sure if there's like roles or like levels here or anything, but I feel like these guys should get like upgraded a bit, like respect wise, after their showings. Yep. Oh yeah, to be fair, he's he's the one who's written it all down. He's got probably the most information on it all. Still a fair few pretty prominent looking characters in this class that we haven't explored at all yet, isn't there? Like this guy. Again, this guy reminds me of that fucking guy from Psyche K. <laughs> I forget his name. Really? I mean, he's probably very strong, as we see, but that doesn't always work out to fighting ability. And in some cases, it's very negative if you're like a bodybuilder because your muscles take up so much power to to like throw a punch much more than like a skinny person. They actually uh, best to play a waiting game with big people. See a lot in boxing when there's a heavier fighter. It's a small notebook for how much information, isn't it? I feel there should be a lot more pages in there. Or maybe he's got a bunch of them. There he is. <laughs> I love that. Joy, excitement. Oh, it's too bright to look at. Oh, 
again it's really these all these piercings are like super dangerous in a fight this uh very um against the grain having loads of piercings and stuff like that isn't it so it makes sense for a uh, for a delinquent but again surely if someone like just punches your lip and like, they just, like rip your piercing off surely that's just like terrible <laughs> Maybe he likes the pain. You do see that a lot as well. A lot of people love the pain. That's why they get loads of tattoos and loads of uh, piercings and such. The beast. Like a wrestling gym. Uh, food place. Wrestling food place. Gym. I mean, it looked kind of like a gym. Gym-themed. Wrestler-themed. Let's have a dialogue. Just an arm wrestle or something, do you reckon? So he's going to find out your virtue by fighting. Yeah, are we going to do like an arm wrestle or are we actually going to like full on fight? Ah, yeah. Oh, he's got a girlfriend. Was it though? Is this a date? <laughs> No way you look like that, right? <laughs> Man, it looks like you're having a good time. He's just wondering how jealous he should be, I think. Yeah, kind of ruining the date a bit. I mean, pretty weird place to take a date anyway, but... Ah, oh dear. Force 
So forceful, bro. True, true. Again, I didn't learn any of this perception stuff till I became an adult as well, to be fair, so. <laughs> he is honest though, isn't he? He's an honest lad. Why did this guy even come here then? He came here obviously on purpose, he overheard. He was wearing his earphones, but he overheard. Came here for a reason. Oh god. That's why is he want to show off? <laughs> he does look like a bit of a show off, honestly. Ah, so it's not a date, he just helped this girl. Okay. Makes sense why I should be scared a bit more as well. <laughs> Can't imagine this is a, a fantastic place. I say that about everyone. It's not really a fantastic place for anyone to live. <laughs> but it kind of is in the same way because these dinner guns are actually quite nice. But obviously some of them, which would be most of them in a usual case, are a delinquents. So... Is that, that looks a little like Mr. Torg in the back there. She kind of looks, I've never watched this, but she, that girl kind of looks like some, she looks very normal, if you know what I'm saying. She looks like a very classical design, but she looks a like a um, character from Burn the Witch. I, I haven't watched that at all. But, um, from photos I've seen, she looks like she'd be like a character in that show. Well, you've done that on purpose, bro. Pretty sure. Really? That's it? Take that on purpose? Okay. Fair enough. Still though, knocked you over. <laughs> German suplex. Oh, that's the name of one of my favorite songs from Gintama. It's not the exact name. I forget the actual title because it's long as hell, but. <laughs> Chuck him over. Damn, this bro's got some like fucking some kind of like abilities, bro.
Pretty good. He's pretty good. <laughs> Send some my way. Okay. He looks like he's actually like very skilled, this uh, pink head guy and like very intelligent. The way he like he was sending people over to other fighters. Oh sorry, he's got that very OP technique. <laughs> like just bursting someone's chest in and making them fly meters. Kind of crazy. Uh, isn't it not a bit mad that there's still like loads of people, like the people we just fought in this place? Like, if you're this weak and shitty, you'd move out by now, right? Knowing that these both foreign delinquents are on your ass. That guy looks a bit like Subaru. A lot of very familiar looking characters today's episode. You know what, probably quite accurately Subaru as well. In terms of what happened. So I wonder if we'll ever see any police. <laughs> there any police in the city? With these guys here, are they the police? It would be a bit like the Batman situation, wouldn't it? So these guys still doing illegal activities. Weather. What do you mean weather? Who's weather? <laughs> Does he have to phone someone to get the weather? <laughs> like, there's an app for that. I sound like those bloody adverts. But they used to play back in the day. There's an app for that. He's got lots of little friends now. Well, I imagine a lot of men would be quite thirsty for that, Mister uh, Mister Sakura. <laughs> Good idea. That and his typing speed. Oh, 
Oh god, we got a classic delinquent here. So these are captains. Oh, that's one lovely haircut <laughs> from that guy. God, this guy's R's are ridiculous. They added even more R's in the subtitles than he's actually saying. <laughs> that must be benefits. Oh, I see. So what are they actually voting for here? I did miss the subtitle, apologies. Ah, oh, so the captain of course. Okay, um, so there is, I did mention earlier how I, I was thinking there might be like some kind of roles and to earn a bit more respect and such and uh, it looks like that is the case and looks like Saka has put a pretty damn good showing into uh, to get, um, I don't know what the word is, uh, volunteered by Suho. We will just watch the ending here as well quickly. Yeah, pretty fun episode today actually. I like seeing a couple of the new, oh, I say new, a couple of the students from both Fear and that we haven't seen before. Pretty good charm for both of them as well. Tenki. I wonder what Tenki is. Maybe, um, would it be the name of someone? I very much doubt it. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, good episode today. Uh, better than last week's, in my opinion. Though I loved, uh, loved the little bits of last week's episode. Um, thought this was a pretty uh, nice little start to uh, the end here. Um, again, interested to see where we do uh, kind of end off, if it will end off on like Sakura becoming the uh, captain. I think he's very much deserving of it. I think there might be a, vi a vice captain or maybe a couple of vice captains, as said. So it'll obviously be uh, some of the people in that top five that we did hear about today. Um, Sakura. Suo, um, the long haired black guy, the pink haired guy, and the orange haired guy. Um, again, name is a real myth, so apologies about that. But yeah, do let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. I'll be back next week with episode 12, so I'll see you then. Have a good day.